Hello and thank you so much for returning to the Baking a Cake series. This is part four and it's filled with lots of information. So um, without further ado, let's move on. So in the previous video, we were completing our um, filling and we got that all done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the cakes from the freezer or from the refrigerator, wherever you stored it. Um, and I let them sit in the pan. That makes it easier for me and they're not um, susceptible to breaking, right? So all I'm doing here is removing this, um, the saran wrap from each pan and they're quite chilled. So I will be able to handle them easily, more easily. That's a benefit of freezing your cakes after you've completed baking them. If you want to decorate, go ahead and put your cakes in the freezer to cool down. All right, so I'm gonna need some icing and you can buy icing in bulk from Sam's and they sell it in a huge pail. And I purchased this, I wanna say for $11, $11 for this huge pail of icing. And as you can see on the um, tag, it says Walmart. So just give me a second. I'm gonna go ahead and place a, um, a good portion of it into the KitchenAid mixer, the bowl. And so you have to think about it. We're gonna be icing the cake. Um, and we have several cakes. Well, I, here in, in my video, I'm using several cakes. And so I don't know exactly what the measurement was. I did have some left over, but I'm gonna use a hefty portion of icing. And most bakers actually use a good bit of it and then you store the left, whatever you have left over. So just bear with me as I um, put this all into the mixer. And because it's coming out of the pail like that, I wanna whip it up to kind of, you know, loosen it up some because it's just like clumpy right now. So all you have to do to get rid of that clumpiness is remix it and it'll give it that smooth consistency, that nice smooth um, texture that you're accustomed to seeing on cakes. So there's no way I would be able to work the icing in this consistency. As you can see, I'm struggling in a sense to get it off of my spatula. All right, so just one moment more, please. So the next thing we need to do is um, prepare this icing. We need to get some air into it. And the way we're gonna accomplish that is by attaching our whisk attachment. I beg your pardon, the paddle attachment. And um, we're gonna go ahead and set the uh, mixer so that we can focus on other things. This is the beauty of having such a beautiful piece of equipment at your disposal. You can set this thing, scrape your bowl down from time to time, and it's like having another set of hands in the kitchen. And the goal here for uh, remixing or uh, re-paddling the um, icing is just to get, get it to be fluffy again and get it to have that smooth consistency to make it easier to um, apply on the cake. All right, so we've whipped this up for a few minutes or so, and it's at the consistency that I do like. And so now we're gonna go ahead and start putting the pieces together. Use a cake board or a plate. It makes it easier to uh, transport your cake. Also, I'm using a turntable, but if you have a Lazy Susan, um, you can use that as well and what that does is it makes it easier when you're decorating the cake you can turn it a little and I start off by placing a little bit of the um, icing on the cake board that will help keep the cake in place this is the first cake that I torqued or cut with the knife if you remember and I can see where I should flip it over but I didn't and so you're gonna also notice that throughout the video that the cake is leaning and here's why because I didn't flip this cake here the first one makes a huge difference also you're going to need either a ziploc bag or a cake decorating bag and I'm using a um, a tip I don't know exactly which tip it is but it's one that makes a it's a circle I beg your pardon it's the circle tip 
clip this part off. And it's the same exact process if you decide to use a Ziploc bag. You do not need a cake decorating bag like this. I purchased these through Michael's. And now I'm going to go ahead and, um, after folding the bag over my hand and holding it in a C-like position, making the C with my hand and filling it in, and I'm going to put as much um, icing as I can get into the bag all the way um, without having a mess. So there is a, a element of art to it and just go ahead and work the icing down into the bag, twist the bag to make sure that it does stay. Go ahead and squirt some of the icing out so that there aren't any air bubbles. And we're going to build what I call like a dam around the border of the cake and this is so that our filling will stay in one area and not leak on the outside of the cake so and I'm gonna apply some of my pineapple filling and I apply it liberally because I really like pineapple and my dad loves pineapple filling as well And so you just go ahead and fill this in. But while I'm doing this, let me explain to you that had I flipped the cake over this first one and used the flat portion, I believe that it wouldn't have um, continued to lean throughout. This is where this is where I did learn something different. Utilize the flat portion of the cake. As your um, as your base and so we're going to go ahead and continue to stack and work just like this each layer all the way to the top Having the Lazy Susan makes it so easy, or the turntable um, makes it so easy to decorate because you don't really have to put a lot of stress on your body, so to speak. It's just turning the, um, the turntable or the Lazy Susan while you're working. So if this is something that you really want to do, you might invest in a turntable such as this one or even pick up one from your local hobby store like that. And for me, baking is just that. It's just a hobby. I'm not a professional at all, but thank goodness for stores such as Michael's and Hobby Lobby and other craft stores that make it easy for us to get these types of tools, right? And also another thing I wanted to share with you, recording um, the process afforded me to learn something that I didn't learn in the cake decorating class that's offered at the craft store in my area. I'm noticing that the cake is leaning more and more as we go through um, the footage and that's okay. That's okay. Trust me. No one's going to say, oh, I don't want a piece of this um, leaning cake. No. There, you see those little hands behind me? They don't ask those types of questions. And so you're going to, you see why we used, um, it was necessary to use so much icing because you're going to use a good bit of it you're going to use a good bit of this buttercream icing. Um, the buttercream consistency for filling the cake I find is the best, but that's just my preference. You know, you're going to use what you want to. There's that, um, the, the whipped, the whipped cream icing or the cool whip consistency icing. It's very light. Many, many, many of my family members like the, the whipped icing in I will do those types of cakes from time to time, but today it's just a plain, like um, as traditional as possible type of cake. This cake is um, vanilla and pineapple. And 
as you can see with anything if you have the correct tools or some tools that will help you to make it easier it doesn't seem like it's that um, difficult to do so a cake board something to turn or or a plate something to turn your cakes over with um, and because remember my cakes were in the freezer so there's a bit of moisture now that they've been out some and so I've had to work them out but none of them uh, fell apart none of them broke as you can see um, something to turn the cakes on as you're working or if you don't have it that's absolutely all right as well the mixer you could substitute a hand mixer or if necessary you can whip um, whip the icing up with a whisk a handheld whisk so I mean these tools have made our jobs easier in the kitchen but I mean our, our parents and grandparents used much less and provided us with the, some of the tastiest treats right so but nevertheless this is what we have so far and you're gonna see that I thought maybe that um, the cake was going to fall over and so to stabilize the cake you could put a dowel in the center of the cake and that's what I'm doing here I'm marking where the cake um, meets up along the edges of the dowel and I'm going to score the dowel with my scissors and then I'm going to go ahead and cut that I'm going to go ahead and cut it with the um, with a knife and so if you find that your cake seems unstable like I did feel just a while ago you could always stabilize it now if you don't have a dowel you could use a straw or a couple of straws that would also work go ahead and insert the dowel or the straw whichever you choose to use back in the center of the cake now we're going to go ahead and ice the whole cake itself and I use this big tip this is actually um, um, a Wilton piece that I did find at Walmart and so I need to find a bag that will fit this cake I did have this um, this bag here but I'm not sure if it will work because it looks a little small so what I'm going to do is utilize the plastic bag and you can use a large um, if you have this tip or would aspire to have this tip you could actually use a large um, Ziploc bag Once you find a, um, a bag that can fit the tip or if you decide not to use the tip that's fine also um, you make sure that the bag has enough space in it so that you can fill it with icing and be able to hold it also without the icing coming out of the top of the bag and that's what I was doing here that's why it took a little while so now that I've settled on a bag um, another thing you could use um, when trying to fill the bags with icing because sometimes it'll get a little tedious trying to hold all the icing in your hand as you're filling it you could use a glass and that's what I'm going to use here just a tall kitchen glass but before I do that I want to make sure that I do have enough icing left and so I'm taking the icing that I, I used earlier and putting it back into the mixer so that I can use that to help with icing So the next thing you want to do is get your um, your bag ready for icing the cake. So I utilize a kitchen glass because it makes it easier to hold all of that icing. And that's what I'm going to go, go ahead and do here. And now I can easily hold the glass while filling my bag with icing. admit that this is the funnest part of the whole cake process for me it's icing the cake so please follow me along into the next video while we go ahead and ice this cake bye see you in the next video